All right, guys, well, they're having a nice leisurely day walleye fishing this morning. And Mitch is like, hey man, let's go musky fishing. I don't know, so now we're out here. <laughs> Mitch wants to catch a musky. I'm kind of partial. I actually went yesterday and caught some muskies, but it looks kind of like a fishy day, so stay tuned. Maybe we'll catch a musky. We don't have a lot of time. Alright guys, so real quick here, we're going to talk about summer musky presentations. You know, summer's the time, um, well, well basically we'll do a little rewind here. Fish always go through the same progression every single year, on pretty much every single lake besides, yeah, maybe there's some weird flukes out there, but fish start shallow. Basically musky season up here in northern Wisconsin is late May, early June, uh, like pretty much everywhere. Those fish are generally still on shallow cover. You know, that uh, in a lake, you know, shallow varies quite a bit. Like in this lake, I would say shallow is eight feet and less. So in the summer fish, and especially in the dog days of summer, fish tend to go a little bit deeper, slide out to an edge, and edge relate. Yes, there's some fish that hang over base, but fish do a lot of edge relating. And that's kind of what we're doing today. You know, we're fishing a lake that has some weeds, has some rocks, and we're picking apart some of the structure, which we'll go to in a second. But we want baits that can be fished a little bit deeper off the edge. And I got a few here. Um, one's kind of some kind of dive and rise or just a dive, some kind of jerk bait, uh, you know, a big suet bar fighter, um, you know, something like that, something you can snap around, it's gonna sit on that weed edge and you can work it down, you know, a big crankbait would be good, something you can yank around on the edge. Um, and this was this is one of my favorites too. Um, awesome bait right here. So anyways, moving on. Next thing, always some kind of big swim bait, whether that's a paddle tail, um, a bulldog, a medusa, a toad, which we caught a couple of fish on the other day. Um, something like this that you can crank on real hard, uh, which is generally what I'm doing in the back of the boat, throwing something out, ripping it real hard, and trying to get that aggression by bulldogs sink quite a bit. If I'm fishing some real deeper water where that edge is maybe 15 to 20, I'll even throw more weight on there and do it like that. But um, definitely if you're getting into musky fishing or if you're just doing some summer musky fishing, you want to have some kind of bait like a mag dog um, that you can count down off that edge and rip it back. The other one, bucktails. Bucktails are obviously a staple. A bucktail spinner bait, some kind of bladed bait um, that's a cast, just cast and retrieve type lure. Um, and this is one that they love out here it's a black on black um, they just kind of love this in this kind of lake and uh, this is a spanky bait and spanky baits are tied with a fairly heavy weight and fairly heavy wire they're super indestructible bait um, heavy blades you can definitely fish this thing um, if you're reeling it fast it's still gonna come in a couple feet down and if you slow roll it or just kind of go that normal musky speed you're probably gonna be getting a bait down four five six feet even so um, awesome bucktail right there and the main thing that all these baits have in common is they're not baits that are fished in the top one foot or two feet of the water column. Um, they're all meant to get off the edge, you know, and target either the deeper side of a weed edge, a deeper rock hump, a deeper weed hump, something like that. So next time you're out in the summer, keep these things in mind. This is just kind of a very basic setup um, of basically, you know, what you want to do, but the same principle is always the same. You want to fish something that can get a little bit deeper um, than you would in the early spring. Just saw the blades disappear and the line go boom. That's another thing that just skyrocketed. Walked over here on the boat. Rolling. All right, guys, we're switching it up today. I'm hooked up on what feels like a good one, huh, Tom? Oh, it's nice. a tiger, Mitchell. Nice fish. Big tiger, big tiger. Oh, we got him, buddy. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> he smoked uh, that thing, dude. Yeah, he did. Man. All right, guys, so we're out here today. You know, it's the middle of summer. We had our water temps cool down. I'm going to make sure we get this fish out real quick here. He's actually already off. So you know, one of the most important things in the heat of the summer like this, we got water temps that are 76. 
is just to let these fish recoup. That one wasn't on for very long. It wasn't hooked bad at all. It came out in the net. But one thing we want to do is be super, super careful with these fish in the middle of summer like this. So I'm gonna let this one sit in the net here for just a second. You know, he's already spunky, like you can see here. And if he wasn't spunky like this, I would definitely let him just sit in that big live well like this with a net just like this. And he's got plenty of room to sit in there while his head's in the water and recoup. Um, but you can see this one's paddling around real nice. So um, yeah, we're gonna roll it over to Mitchell. Look at this thing. So uh, yeah, we switched it up today, obviously musky fishing. So uh, we just got out here not too long ago, had a couple follows, this one bit, got them in the net. So uh, in a little bit, we're gonna break down what to look for for summer patterns for musky fishing. He almost pulled me in. Monster fish, little lure. Monster fish, almost, little lure, epic almost, catch, almost huge lake, in. insane hook set. <laughs> smack him on the tail and see if he's ready. Give him a good smack and oh yeah, he's ready. Oh, yeah. There he goes, Mitchell. What do you think? Awesome, man. That was fun. All right, guys, real quick, we're going to talk about summer musky locations. So we're going to show you a quick shot of the map of the lake that we're on right now. I'm going to screenshot it. And all the red that you guys see on the map is all eight feet and less. Now, this is a lot of, like, June spots or September spots. This is highlighting all the shallow water in this lake. You can see we got a lot of nice flats, a lot of good musky structure to fish out here. So now if I start zooming in on this piece of structure we were just on here, for example, Basically, like I said, all that red's real shallow water. So the next thing I want to do, because we're not really focusing on that real shallow piece of structure, I'm going to go menu, menu, and I'm going to scroll down to uh, my depth highlight. Now, I'm going to set this kind of at the base of this break. It was the base of this break's at about 10 feet out here, and then it kind of, it's real flat in 13, 15 feet of water. So I'm going to turn my depth highlight range to three feet. Now what this is going to do, it's going to highlight everything in green that is basically uh, like eight, nine feet or eight feet um, all the way out to 13 feet. So if we look at the map now, it's going to start looking quite a bit different. And we're going to start seeing a lot of this kind of secondary stuff. And I'll take a screenshot of it so you guys can see it a little bit better. But the things that start popping out at you is like this big point extension over here on the other side of this hump or you start seeing a lot of basically the sweet spots on the spot so like we just raised a fish and i'll kind of put the cursor right on it here on the screenshot we just raised a fish right here and that's that secondary point that comes off that bigger flat so it's it, may, it might not be just fishing a different piece of structure a lot of times a lot of times it's just fishing a spot a little bit differently and where you put your boat is generally a little bit deeper to cover either the point of a spot or to be fishing just off that break so that's kind of what we look for a lot of times we fish a little bit deeper in the dog days like this we fish some of those secondary spots and we can look kind of look at a spot set your depth shading and uh, no likely areas where these fish are going to set up in the middle of summer all right, Tom, we have our one fish for the day, yep. which means we're done. Two, so we two started, what time we started at? About 11? Yep, 2 o'clock. Had a couple follows, and uh, Mitch caught that nice one, you know, and I thought, I don't need to catch a muskie today. Let's go catch some walleye. So I think we're going to pull on out of here. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed Mitchell catching his first muskie in like a whole bunch of years. Um, <laughs> but good time, and hopefully you learned something. I know we shot some informational pieces. Uh, so thanks for watching. Please subscribe and follow our next video. We're going to be doing some walleye fishing again. Thanks for watching.